We're here at the first Worldview exhibit, looking at a series of flint points in the fourth drawer. Uh, this uh, group of points were found in Chillicothe, Ohio in the spring of 1922. Um, they were found about 18 inches below the ground surface. Uh, there were no human burials associated with them, so it's clear that they were not any kind of burial offering. They range in size from three inches up to more than 10 inches. They're all made from Indiana hornstone. In fact, they could have been made from the same block of Indiana hornstone. And the, the style suggests they all could have been made by the same flint napper. Mm -hmm. The style of point is called a turkey tail because the base of the point looks similar to uh, the tail of a turkey. Uh, they are characteristic of the red ochre culture uh, that uh, was typical of western Ohio and neighboring regions. Yeah, the red ochre culture, that basically refers to the elaborate burial practices of the group of late archaic people in that region mm -hmm between about 1500 B.C. up to 500 B.C. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the points were found in a cache of over 200 objects. Uh, the term cache suggests that, that perhaps whoever buried them had intended to come back for them later. However, when they were found, they, they had been all broken up before they were buried. Uh, we've obviously repaired them uh, since then. Uh, but uh, that suggests that uh, no one was going to be coming back to retrieve them. So all this suggests this must have been a ceremonial deposit, deliberately buried as an offering perhaps. And we know that some historic Indian tribes made such offerings to gain the favor of powerful spirits. In any respect, um, they certainly are a magnificent testimony of the abilities of a late archaic flint napper and also the, perhaps the religious fervor of the person who smashed them up before burying them.